That cheap yet shockingly delicious bottle of Malbec you bought from the grocery store is from Argentina. And yes, they do that, but they do so much more and you deserve to know about it. So let's learn a little bit more about Argentina wine. Hey, what's up? It's Madeline Paquette. I am the host and co-founder of WineFolly.com where we learn by drinking. Now, this little introduction on Argentina wines goes along with an incredible guide that myself and my team have built at Wine Folly, and it's included a massive effort produced by hundreds upon hundreds of wineries who have added their information so you can dig around and explore your next favorite bottle of wine. So if you're not already at winefolly.com, head over there, check out the guide. You're gonna love what you see. Argentina, Argentina, Argentina. If there was ever a place that loves wine, it is this country. It is the fifth largest wine producer in the world. And the major city Buenos Aires is second only to Paris in terms of wine consumption per capita. So I wanna orient ourselves a little bit more to Argentina wine country. If you look at the country as a whole, actually the majority of wine production happens in the western part of Argentina, sort of skirting along the Andes Mountains. There are four major production zones. We look at, at the Atlantic area, a very, very small region that's just up and coming. In Patagonia to the south, it's a very cool climate and known for Pinot Noir. And up north in Salta and Jujuy, you'll find the highest elevation vineyard in the world. But I really wanna focus my efforts in on this region called Cuyo because it is the largest vineyard area in Argentina and it contains the regions that you might have heard of, including Mendoza and San Juan. Now, when we talk about Argentina's best wines, I'm gonna say it's kind of up to you. You're the one who's gonna decide what you like best, but here are the wines you ought to try because they're what Argentina is known for. And the number one top of the list has to win, take the prize, is definitely Malbec. So Malbec, if you don't know it, it's an incredible wine. It's extremely lush and friendly. It has these really amazing deep cherry, red cherry notes, but can range all the way to like blueberry and blackberry in terms of its taste profile and be almost chocolatey on the palate. It's really smooth and lush and velvety. And if you're just getting into red wines, it's an absolute must try. And maybe because of its beginner sort of history, it's never really been considered a fine wine. That is not until recently, when in 2016, two Argentine Malbecs became 100 point rated wines. So now we have the situation where we have multiple tiers of quality of Argentina Malbec that you can find, including exceptional collectible wines that will age for years and years. The next wine I wanna bring up because it grows alongside Malbec is Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, these are both Bordeaux varieties originally and they do incredible stuff in Argentina's climate. With Cabernet Sauvignon, you have a little bit longer of a taste profile and when it grows in some more clay-based soils, it produces these really rich textured tannins, which can add quite a lot to the scene, especially when they're blended with Malbec. So one of the exciting things that I've found looking for wines from Argentina is looking for these Malbec Cabernet blends because they make this like, wow, perfect match together. Now the next wine I wanna mention is kind of Argentine original, and that is Tarantes. This grape variety came about in, in Argentina, actually from imported grapes, grapes imported into the region, but then kind of happened. And it's super aromatic, holy moly. So you get a glass of Tarantes and you just smell it. And it's flowers and it's like sweet fruits and it's maybe a little bit of your grandmother's bathroom in that potpourri, but wow. The interesting thing is the Argentinians are very classy and they make Tarantes pretty dry. Lastly, I gotta mention Chardonnay because it is a really important wine that gets exported from Argentina around the world. Chardonnay in Argentina is quite a ripe style. I tend to find more ripe pear, yellow apple, mango, pineapple-like flavors. And because of all that richness, it tends to do really well with oak aging. So if you love a creamy Chardonnay, I'm talking to you, 
definitely keep an eye out for Argentina Chardonnay. So here are some fun and useful facts when looking for Argentina wines. If you see Reserva on a bottle of red wine, like a bottle of Malbec, it means that wine must have aged in oak for at least one year. This also goes true with white wines. Reserva is required to have at least six months in oak in Argentina. Things like Tupungato, Uco Valley, Luyan de Cuyo, Paraje, Altamira, Gual Tolerie, these are actually called geographic indications and they are official regions within Mendoza and the other regions in Argentina. They are sort of like microchasms of awesomeness with very specific styles of wines that are worth investigating. So if you find something you like, investigate that specific area where it's produced because Mendoza is actually quite a large region. There's hundreds of thousands of acres of vineyards planted there. So finding your style from the place and that special name, that special location on the label is something to pay attention to. Uh, lastly and not leastly, what would I buy in Argentina? What's beyond Mendoza Malbec? Now, I have to say, if I was going to Argentina, I would definitely be getting a few bottles of Mendoza Malbec. I couldn't not do it. But I would also add these other wines to my list. I would absolutely check out Salta for Tarantes. This area produces some of the most minerally and lean styles of Tarantes wines that I've found because of that exceptionally high elevation. Secondly, I would definitely be bringing home a few bottles of Patagonia Pinot Noir. Now, Pinot Noir in Patagonia is crazy because the soils there produce these really intense rustic wines, and yet because of the sun, they're super fruity. It's like, I don't even know what's going on in my mouth. And that's why I would have to have a few bottles of those. And finally, I gotta mention this great variety that the Argentinians call Bonarda. We call it Charbonneau in Napa Valley. In France, they call it Deuce Noir. And the Italians will argue with you and tell you they have a grape called Bonarda too. So nobody can really decide. But Bonarda from Argentina, I found, has these similar qualities to uh, Malbec, actually. I hope you found this little intro useful and exciting. And I bet you're super thirsty and want to grab a bottle of something Argentinian tonight to have maybe with some empanadas. Uh, if you like this, definitely leave a comment. Tell me what your favorite Argentinian wine is. I'm listening. And if you want to check out the guide, definitely head over to winefolly.com. Throw us a like. I love you guys. And until next time, happy drinking. Peace out.